hey guys what's up welcome to ncx tech and today in this video i'm going to install the latest jorin os 16 on my computer and since i have already installed windows 10 on my computer so now i'm going to install jorin os 16 so that i can have dual boot system including jorin os 16 and windows 10 and guys this method is 100% safe there is no risk of losing any of our data and also we are not going to mess with the windows boot partition that's why we are not going to have any dual boot issues okay let's get started so as you can see i'm using windows 10 here and first i'm going to download jorin os iso so for this go to browser and then search for jorin os iso and just click on the first link the official website of jorin os and there you have different flavors of Jorin OS. So there we have Jorin OS Pro. And it's not free. You have to pay $39 for this. And then we have Jorin OS Core. And this is free. And then we have Jorin OS Lite. And it uses XFC desktop. And it is especially designed for low-end hardwares. So there you can see different features of three flavors of Jordan OS compared side by side. But I'm going to download the free version Jordan OS Core. Skip the download. So now this is going to download Jordan OS 16 ISO. And also I'm going to download Rufus to make a bootable USB. Rufus downloads. And then click on the first link. So now both files are downloaded. And next I'm going to create a free space. So for this source for disk management. And we're going to create free space for Jordan installation. And for this, I'm going to delete this partition. And also you can create some free space just by shrinking down partition. But there you can see I have created a free space of around 40 GB for Jordan OS installation. And minimum of 20 GB is required. And then you need to insert the USB drive and then run Rufus. So first you have to select the USB drive which you want to make a portable USB and then the ISO. Jordan OS ISO. So here I have and just leave everything as it is. Click on the start. Okay. Yes. And there we have a warning message that all the data on the USB drive will be deleted. Just click on OK. And this may take up, up to 5 minutes. And this will write Jorin OS ISO in the USB drive. And then I'm going to restart my computer. And now I'm going to boot my computer from the USB drive. So I'm pressing F12 since I'm using Dell laptop. And there I have to select the USB drive for UEFI. So there I have the USB drive. Just enter, try or install Jorin OS. You can skip disk checking by simply pressing on Control and see so now it is going to load Jordan OS from the USB drive so there we have Jordan OS desktop so there you have two different options try Jordan OS or install Jordan OS so you can try Jordan without installing as well but since I'm going to install it that's why I'm going to select 
ఇన్స్టాల్ చూడండి ఓఎస్ అండ్ దే యూ హ్యావ్ టు సెలెక్ట్ కీబోర్డ్ లేఅవుట్ లాంగ్వేజ్ సో ఐఎమ్ లివింగ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ డిఫాల్ట్ సో ఐ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు కనెక్ట్ టు ఇంటర్నెట్ రైట్ నా సో ఇట్ ఈస్ రికమెండెడ్ దట్ యూ టీక్ ఆన్ ఇన్స్టాల్ థర్డ్ పార్టీ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ and then continue so there you have three different options so first option this will install join os along with windows 10 and next we have erase disk so this will erase the selected disk completely and then it will install join os but we are going to try the third option something else so we are going to set up everything manually so there are source for the free space that i have created which was of around 40 gb so here's the free space that i have created for join os installation so just select the free space and click on plus and first i'm going to create a boot efi partition of 500 mb size and you have to select efi system partition okay and then i'm going to create a root partition from the remaining free space i'm going to use all of the free space available and then you have to select root okay and also you can create a home and a swap partition if we have ram less than 4gb you can create swap partition of around 4gb for that so there you can see we have created two different partition one is efi and the other root partition and just click on install now continue so now you have to select your location continue so you can give your computer name here and then you can create a password confirm it and just leave everything as it is and click on continue and now it is going to install join os on our computer and this may take up to 15 minutes depending upon the right speed of your hard drive So here I'm done with the installation process. And now I'm going to restart my computer and check whether I can use both operating systems or not. So you have to remove the USB drive and then press enter. So as it restarts there we can see the grub boot menu. So either you boot Jorin or windows but first i'm going to try jorin to select jorin and hit enter so i need to enter my password which i said earlier so here's the brand new jorin desktop welcome screen And next I'm going to restart my computer to check whether I can boot into Windows or not. Select Windows Boot Manager and hit enter. So there we have Windows Desktop. So this seems everything is working perfectly. So guys, this was for today. And I hope you like this video and if so please like this video and do subscribe my channel. I always hope for your support. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time.